everybody! So this is my first video for Cut to You for October. I'm using one of the brand new cut files this week. Uh, we're going to be using the Love Your Selfie cut file, but we're going to jazz it up a little bit. We're even going to add some wording to it. I'm going to be using the brand new Coco Vanilla Studios Daydream Collection. I just received my kit from Christina and I had to play right away. So I backed the cut file. I also added a little bit of Distress Oxide ink and vintage photo to the edges. I also have that cut file up on some foam tape. So I'm gonna use my T-square ruler to kind of get this really well centered onto my page and then I'm gonna stick it down. I backed the cut file with lots and lots of different uh, six by eight papers. And I kept the scraps from my from backing that cut file because I'm gonna use those scraps on other portions of the layout. I also chose this beautiful floral paper uh, because I wanted this page to be very flowery. It's a picture of me with a llama. So in case you don't know, I love llamas. Um, they're kind of like my thing. I have llamas um, in my scrapbook room like prominently and then I also have hidden llamas in my house. Um, I buy the stuff that looks like really slick and modern and just really cool. It, maybe like um, I know I have a vase that's a llama head and I hide it in around my house because of course my children and husband would like hate to have llamas everywhere in the house. So you know how some people do scrapbook layouts and they do hidden Mickeys? I do hidden llamas in my decor. And we're kind of gonna do that on this layout today because we are gonna add some llama things, but they're gonna be um, kind of hidden. So that is really cool. Okay, I am matting my photo in two different patterns. These are two of the patterns I used to uh, mat to use when I back the cut file. I just picked two that were lighter. I decided not to add any more of that wood grain. It's um it's dark and it does what I need it to do on that camera, right? So I'm just gonna add a light, light vintage photo inking around the edge of my picture, and that's just gonna coordinate it with the cut file. Then the next little thing we're gonna do is. We're going to add a little bit of extra wording to our cut file. So the cut file says, love your selfie. I have grabbed these Grove Thickers. They were created to be, um, to work with Amy Tangerine's Late Afternoon, but they match the green in this uh, Daydreamer collection perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and use them on here. Plus this Grove alphabet, this Grove font is the font I am loving right now. We don't have any more Fitzgerald, so I had to find a new font and I found this one. And so far, I think I've bought like seven packs of them. We're gonna spell out llama with our <laughs> thickers, which means that the actual title of this layout is going to be Love Your Llama Selfie. Um, I'm also grabbing all these flowers. So before I even started creating with this collection, I fussy cut a full sheet of florals. I fussy cut a full sheet of rainbows and I fussy cut a full sheet of the little butterflies. So I, and there are tons and tons and tons and tons of flowers in the ephemera pack too. So I have oodles and oodles of flowers that I can totally totally like cluster up and play with and use for layouts. I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So I'm going through all of these fussy cut florals. I don't want to use all the fussy cut ones. I'm going to use some of the ones that came in the ephemera pack too. And I'm just going to tuck them in three different areas of my layout to create three really well, like full floral clusters. So I decide that right about here is a good place for me to stop with the flowers. I love how these clusters look. They don't need any more. They look nice and full. Now for the hidden llama. So I have these epoxy flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. And I have one that's a little llama head and one that's a little cactus and one that's a little flower. And I'm going to go ahead and put them into my clusters. So there is a little pop of a llama head down there in that bottom cluster. 
I also know that I want to add a couple of hearts into this layout because of course it says love your llama selfie and I also want to bring in a little bit more of that deep dark green that's in my thickers and in the foliage. For one of these heart elements, I'm going to use this felt heart. These are the cutest things ever. The cutest things ever. I put them on the package and I'm like, these are adorable. So they don't have any adhesive on the back of them. Uh, but that's okay. And they're not super thick either. They're perfect. They're like the most perfect corduroy hearts ever. They're corduroy. They're like out of this world cute. I love them. I need like 50 more packs of those. Um, I, I'm also going to go ahead and grab two of the little heart stickers and put two hearts in each of my, in the middle center of each of my O's. And then I'm just going to glue that uh, corduroy heart down with some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And that held it perfectly. Now I have to start moving all of these beautiful clusters and getting them glued down, which was super scary, but I totally did it and it worked. It was okay. We got through it. I think everything got put back where it was supposed to. I hope so because I really did like this and I think I got it all back where it was supposed to. I went, as I was going through, I did pop up um, a couple of the flowers only if they kind of were on top of a cluster or stood alone. If there were things layered around them, then I just glued them with my tape runner straight down to the bottom of the page. And then I just am going to grab my scissors, trim off the edge. I kind of thought about sequins. I thought about a couple of things, but honestly, I just loved it just the way it was. So all I did was add a, a date stamp. Here are all of the close-ups and my beautiful llama selfie and my corduroy hearts. I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. I know this is going to go up Saturday, Sunday-ish. Uh, so I will see you all again on Monday for Maggie Holmes Monday. And uh, bye.